Hey, welcome to the Windows channel. And today we're going to talk about apps in the Windows Store. I've had a lot of questions, uh, including from a group from Ghana that um, wants to actually know a little more about apps and how to know if they're compatible with your system and um, will an app work or not. It's kind of complicated and you'll see why. So we have the Windows Store where you can get apps. The Windows Store, first of all, is uh, much better than it was before. How do you search for stuff? Well, first of all, you can search uh, on the upper right and you're looking for something. You know what? You've got categories here, but you can search for a subject. Let's say, for example, you want to see the sky. So, you know, use the keywords in whatever you want to search for. So I want to see the sky. Uh, you can write just sky and see what it brings you. And you'll see the different apps that it's going to search for that has something to do with sky. It could be a game. It could be a lot of stuff. But the different apps will be searched for. And the more precise you are, the better it is. So you see here sky news and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, one that I want to see is sky map. You see sky map here. This is one of the things that I was looking for. So this is one. Um, but if you know a little more precisely what you mean by sky, for example, say I want to say astronomy, because I know that astronomy is the science of looking at the sky and so on. Well, here you got a little more details. So, you know, be as precise as you can in your search. That's the first thing that's going to help you, first of all. Um, try to know what field you're looking at. You're looking at uh, maybe an app for uh, the kitchen. You want to do the recipes. Well, why not just try and find uh, an app for recipes or recipe. I'm not even sure. I'm not. Yeah, recipe. Yeah, I think I did it right. So recipes, you have little suggestions here already, all recipes, for example, uh, all the cook recipes. And here, results, fast recipes, all Indian recipes, traditional Indian recipes, and so on. Uh, of course, when you search, you search generally. But you know what? On the left side, look at the refine button. Here you can say, I want to refine my search to apps. So you won't have anything to do with movies, anything to do with music. Click on apps, click on whatever you want to search for. And once you do, you'll see all the categories appear. Book and reference, business, uh, and so on. You know, you have lots of stuff. And this is slides up and down, so there's a lot of categories here. That's the first thing you'll notice. And so, you know what, um, try to be as precise as possible and um, you know look at what you can do for example i don't know uh, out of my mind here i'm just saying okay uh dog training is there anything here yeah here's dog training dog training instructions dog training videos so you got a lot of stuff just think of whatever you want to search for and try to formulate it correctly into words and if it's too general, well, just, you know, um, try to think of how to make it a little more precise. That's the first thing you need to know. Of course, you'll see that some apps are free, some apps are paid. So, for example, I can say, I want to have dog training videos. And I'll click the free button and it's going to install. There's a little ad here that says, plus contains an app purchases. That means this app is free but there's more content there's more stuff you can do with it if you want to pay a lot of apps are like that they start by uh, you know giving you some free stuff and if you like it well they know that you might want to pay for extra stuff so that's the first thing but on the upper left you can choose two of the major app stuff. I won't look at music and movies and TV here because this video will be mostly for the store and the apps and games because that's the most 
the most questions I get are for this. So you can click apps. These are general apps of all sorts, including social apps, anything that is not a game, basically. Anything that does something interesting uh, or something, you know, like uh, social media, search, uh, dictionaries, movie stuff like Netflix, uh, all sorts of apps that bring you content uh, and so on. But no games. You also have the games tab on the upper left which is only games so here anything you do about search will search for games you also have here just below games top chart games categories featured games if you click apps you'll also see app top charts app categories and featured apps it's always nice to see the top charts because a lot of the top stuff is often the thing that you are searching for. So you can click the top charts and see if something interesting is here. Uh, but you can also search, like I said, and it's always nice. Featured apps is interesting because you can actually have a glimpse at maybe something you've never thought of, but that's going to show up. So you can click featured apps and they're going to talk and you know send you these little featured apps that change regularly. Uh, with you know all sorts of different apps and stuff that could be interesting to you now let's say you are into a game and you're wondering okay world at arms wage war for your nation let's click here how do you know if this works on your computer and that's probably the biggest biggest problem I would say that pretty much everything in the Windows Store is compatible with pretty much all the computers. Um, from what I know, there are some stuff that don't appear on computers where they shouldn't. But I know that it's not a, really an official rule, so it means that there could be apps that are not compatible that are still here. When it's free, it's not much of a problem because you never paid for it. So if it doesn't work, you just, you know, erase it from com your computer. But the problem is for a paid app. Um, I would suggest that if you want to buy an app or buy a game, uh, what you could do actually is go on the internet and maybe search for what's the you know minimum requirements for such a game or such an app but from experience I can tell you that pretty much everything in a Windows Store is compatible with almost anything and that's why a lot of games are not in this App Store it's because they are different in the requirements that they have they need to actually install separately from a different type of install so that's why big games will install from you know a download and you'll have you know all the information of what's uh, gonna work and what what's the minimum requirements and so on but unfortunately there's no clear view of what works or not. What you can do is look at the comments also. Ratings and review often give you an idea of how good a game or an app is. One of the common questions that I get is, I downloaded an app from the Windows Store and it crashes. You know what? The apps that are in the Windows Stores, even though they are checked for a minimum of quality, especially the apps that are not very popular popular apps you know what a lot of people are going to complain and say hey it doesn't work and you'll see it also in the ratings so if you for example i want to have the usa today app well i'll look down and see the score which is from zero to five so check at the comments check what people say you know what if a lot of people say it crashes there's a good chance it might crash on your computer too but you know what it there's nothing i can tell you to check for to know if it crashes or not uh, i've downloaded you know dozens and dozens of apps on the windows store and i can tell you that um, some crashed 
and some didn't. And it wasn't even because of minimum requirements. Uh, a big example that I can give here is a Kobo Books app. I buy Kobo Books. I buy books on the Kobo store on my iPad because I have an iPad. And when I saw that the Kobo apps was available on Windows, I said, wow, cool, my books are going to be here. And they are. But the problem is for many, many, many months, the Kobo app actually crashed in Windows and it didn't work. And all I can say is probably because it was just not really uh, well programmed. You know what? It wasn't done right. So there's nothing I can tell you to really reassure you that an app is going to crash. And I think the biggest problem here is that simply Microsoft needs to screen these apps a little more seriously. You know what? It's like in the iOS store. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, there are apps and there are games that you download that just crash. And if they're available, it's because they should work on your device. They just crash. Sometimes it's a conflict in between uh, different apps. Sometimes it's something in your computer that it doesn't like. Uh, remember that you know these apps have to run in millions of different combinations of computers and that's why sometimes apps can crash or not if one app crashes you know what just search for a similar app and see if you can find something else that works and you know what you can wait each app has versions and all versions are updated all the time so if an app crashes maybe you can try it in a month or two months from now and you'll notice that oh they did an update to the app and actually now it works and doesn't crash anymore because people complain that the app crashes so it's very complex and I can't really clearly tell you how and if an app works or not you'll have to try it and, and like I said, for a free app, it doesn't matter because it's just free. But I understand how mad and are sad you can be because you paid for an app and it just doesn't work on your computer. But uh, hopefully, if your Windows works well, your computer works well, it shouldn't really work bad. It should normally be okay and work everywhere. So just try it. And you know what? A lot of apps that are paid apps have a trial so if you're not sure you know what click on the trial install it and see if it works and if the trial works then the paid app should work and um, you know I think every every major app should give a trial of an app because um, if you don't have a trial you know it doesn't help people choosing for an app because they know that it can crash or not and that's always, always a problem. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you in choosing apps. And hopefully uh, you will have a, a great experience in the Windows Store. And hopefully it's going to work. And hopefully everything's going to be okay. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, please feel free to ask. So thank you for watching.